I saw that post on OMIG, and even if I'm not using VLC, it is kinda interesting so I thought to make a quick demo. So we open VLC, and that is a flat pack VLC obviously, and anyway, it looks like that, which is a supreme crap. What we can do, is to go on tools, and preferences. And then select a custom theme. I won't comment on that stupid flat pack notification, and I will immediately proceed on skin selection I have downloaded already. To apply the changes we need to close it, and reopen it. And now we have this. The first thing to notice is the custom header bars, and the second is the minimize button, which means it can't read the system settings. Now if we open a menu, or go inside some settings page, everything remains a supreme crap like before. But that should be the least of your worries, because if we go into overview, the whole window will simply vanish. Like Mir, or Unity, or Upstart, or Ubuntu One, and Snap comes next. I think I made my case. Hello. And you? You will be unemployment too. To be fair, that is kind of a new project so they may fix that issue on next releases, but this is how it works now, at least to my Fedora. Okay, let's open a video file now. Hum, look how many ISOs I have downloaded? Anyway, the problem now is that we can't DND the video file on the video player, because it always disappears on overview. So the workaround is to do something like this. So sad? Now, on full screen mode we also get some Yaru player controls, and I must admit everything looks better on the surface. Then again, why VLC looks literary crap everywhere is a mystery. It looks crap both on GNOME and Plasma, it looks terrible on Windows, and only on Mac OS is kinda bearable. Well, whatever. To revert, Ctrl and P to enter settings, then select the native style, save and restart. It may look shit again, but bonus? At least overview works.